Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. On Monday, we found that uh, Japan's current account surplus rose 38% in October. The Swiss unemployment rate rose from 2.2% in October to 2.3%, and that the Canadian housing stars trend was essentially unchanged in November. On Tuesday, we have the UK monthly GDP and the Eurozone's Zoo Economic Sentiment Survey. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Yen pair, which has not yet found enough bullish momentum after breaking above the Ichimoku cloud in October. We normally do expect the pair to temporarily pull back towards the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud, and that's exactly what the pair has done. But it's now maybe taking a little bit too long. On the positive note, for the bulls, the pair is still being supported by the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud, while hanging around the 38% Fibonacci tracement level of 120. Another positive bull note is that the Kijun line, which has crossed above the Tenkan line, uh, which is another bullish sin signal. So this may just be the calm before the storm that we need to wait out before reaching our profit targets of 121 and 122. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.